How are you doing today? This is Vincent again from NewbieWebDesign.com and this is Web Page Maker Tutorial Part 3 The Arrange Menu which is right here and we're also going to be talking about layers, objects, and the positioning and the grouping of objects. So let's get started. Okay, I have Web Page Maker open. This is my work area. This is the site contents area. And I want more work area, so I'm going to get rid of the site contents by hitting F8 on my keyboard. Makes it go away. I can hit F8, bring it back. But I don't want it right now, so let's get rid of it. We're going to go over here to Edit, Show Grid. And this grid will not show up on your web page, but it makes it so much easier to align objects such as images and text in your work area as you're building your web page. Okay, let's bring some objects into our work area. Okay, an element, or what I like to call an object, is an image. It can be text, it could be a video, something that you can move around and put somewhere on your website, something you can see in your work area. And right now we have six objects. We got four images and two text objects. We have the ace, which is the bottom layer, and the four of hearts, which is the top layer. The first layer, the second layer, the third layer, the fourth. So we count from the bottom up one, two, three, four. Same here. We have layer one, we have layer two. From the bottom to the top, one, two. Now, what I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to go ahead and select or highlight these four images. And you can tell because they're pink around the edges. Go to Arrange, Group, and now I can move them around as if they were one object. And it makes it a lot easier when you're moving objects around uh, instead of doing one at a time. Okay. And I could do the same here. I could go ahead and highlight them, just go ahead and move them like this as one object, or I could go ahead and group them. Okay. Let's go ahead and select these again. Hit Arrange, Ungroup, and they're still grouped, so we're going to hit Arrange, Ungroup, and now we can move them as individual objects to wherever we want on our web page. And again, we can move our layer, our text, to wherever we want on our web page. Okay, let's go ahead and select the Ace of Clubs, hit Arrange, send all the way to the front, and now the deuce is the bottom layer, and the Ace is the top layer. The first layer, the second, third, fourth layer. Now let's highlight the Ace again. Hit Arrange, send to the back, which will send it back one layer. And let's do it again. Send back, and let's try it. There we go. And now what we can do is see that it's back one layer, so it's the third layer from the bottom. Layer one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and hit Arrange. Send to the back one more, and as you can see, it is now the second layer. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight it, hit Arrange, and send all the way to the back. And let's move it where we can see it. Now let's highlight the four, hit Arrange, Send all the way to the back. We'll send it to the bottom, very bottom layer. Okay, so now it's at the very bottom. Layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4. Bottom layer, top layer. While it's highlighted, we're going to go ahead and bring it all the way to the top, or front layer. Bottom layer, front layer, top layer. 1, 2, 3, 4, counting from the bottom. 
over here. We can array, select, bring to the front, and now it's on top, or the top layer, the front layer. And we could go ahead and hit Arrange, send it all the way to the back, and layer 2 is back on top. Now the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and highlight these four cards, hit Arrange, and align to the left. Now they're all aligned and they're all on this grid right here. And let's move these a little bit. And let's go ahead and select them. Arrange, align to the right. And while they're selected, we're going to hit Arrange, align to the bottom. And now they've all been aligned to the bottom. And they're all on top of each other. One, four, three, two, the ace again on the bottom layer. Okay, let's get rid of the four clubs. We're going to do that by right clicking on it, hit delete, and it's gone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move these around a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and select them. And hit Arrange. Align. And horizontally we're going to center these cards. Hit Centers. OK. Then we're going to hit Arrange, Align, and we want to vertically space them equally. So we'll click here, hit OK, and now they're spaced equally. Let's go ahead and move these over here like this. Let's go ahead and highlight them. Arrange, align them to the bottom, select them. Arrange, align, horizontally space equally, hit OK. There, they're equally spaced. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring in another image. The Five of Clubs, and as you notice, it's larger than the other ones. So we're going to go ahead and select these four cards or images, hit Arrange, Size. And we are going to hit Grow to the Largest, so we want everything to be the same size as, as the Five of Clubs. We could also type in our own sizes as far as width and height, so we got the width and the height. Hit OK. And now everything's the same size. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get rid of the Five of Clubs. We're going to replace it with another image, and we're going to right click on that. Hit Change Image. And we're going to go ahead and bring the four back. And now the four is smaller than the other three cards or images. And let's move this down a little bit here. And we're going to select those. Hit Arrange, Size, Shrink to the Smallest Image, Width and Height. Hit OK. And now they're all small again. Very easy, pretty neat. OK, let's go ahead and get rid of these three cards right here. So we're going to select them, right click on one of them, and hit delete, and they're gone. Now what we want to do is put a hyperlink on this four. So let's go ahead and right click on the four, four. Oops. Let's try that again. Right click on the four, go down to link two, Another website. I'm going to go ahead and type in or paste. Oops, because I better get a site first. Okay, I typed in uh, newbiewebdesign.com and let's give it a typo. Newbie design, name it whatever you want, and hit OK. And let's preview it. This is what it would look like. When it's online, let's go ahead and click on the Four of Hearts, and it takes it to another page. 
You also can notice here when I uh, let's go ahead and uh, preview it again. I forgot to mention when you hover over an image that has a link to it or hyperlink in it and you put in the title you can put whatever you want and you see it says newbie uh, design so that people can see uh, where they're going to. Okay let's go ahead and bring in another image okay here's another image which is partially transparent this is the bottom layer layer number one this is the front layer or top layer layer number two and let's go ahead and move this partially transparent image over the four and let's preview it here's what it looks like and let's go ahead and click on the four and nothing happens and the reason why is because the four is behind the top layer it's the bottom layer position number one and this image right here is on top blocking it so you can't click on it and go to another uh, website okay let's go ahead and select the top layer arrange send all the way to the back let's preview this now now the four is on top we see newbie design and we can click on it and go to the other web page so always make sure if you're having a problem there you can't click on something it may be hidden behind another object whether it's a text or an image okay well that's about it so again the arrange menu is pretty easy bring things to the front one send them to the back one bring them all the way to the front or send them all the way to the bottom again the bottom layer is one the top layer would be the highest number so one from the bottom and work your way up you can align things left right top bottom uh, you can group and ungroup and resize groups of objects well anyway thank you and and uh, hope you appreciate this and have a good day